Hello, Contrariety here from Lumpology.com, and welcome back. Today we're going to be covering how to install the Armory SDK into your Blender 2.8. So, without further ado, let's start. For starters, I'm going to get Blender 2.8. Go to blender.org and it should be right available there. Um, go to once on the main site. Just go to downloads. Download Blender 2.8. That's the latest release. Save file. Should take a second to download. And once that's done, it will be ready to go. The Armory SDK can be gotten at just search for Armory. Game engine. Go with that. It didn't spell it correctly, but that's fine. So armory3d.org. Go to download, and you can find this button here. Just click it. It'll open this website. I'm just going to skip this. So um, go to the Armory SDK here, right at the top. You don't want any of these ones down below. So just click this here. Download. Save the zip file. That'll take a few seconds to download. In the meantime, we'll get Blender 2.8 going. So, let's see, this is Blender 2.8. So we're going to hit OK. We'll say next, accept the terms and the license agreement, next. That's good, next, next. So I should mention this will overwrite your previous copy of Blender, so be prepared to um, no longer have Blender installed when you're done. Yes. So it's going to update all the components. In the meantime, we're going to take a look at the Armory SDK and what we're going to have to do with it. So as you can see here, this is the Armory SDK. So we're going to hit uh, Extract All, and I'm going to take the Armory SDK and put it in the place that I wish to have it. So I'm going to put it in my backup and I want the Armory SDK to be in my documents and I'll put it now I'll put it in the C drive actually um, I see Blender's finished, that's good, so I'll actually throw it in with Blender Blender Foundation, Blender SDK. So I'm going to delete my old SDK here. And I'm going to put this to that. And I'm just going to put the uh, SDK itself in here and select the folder. Okay, extract there. Oops. Alright, continue. Okay, now that the Armory SDK has extracted, as you can see here, um, there's a few things we're going to need to do first. Blender 2.8, here it is. This is a fresh install, I haven't changed anything yet. Uh, looks great, all the latest features and stuff. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Edit tab and we're going to go up down to Preferences. Then we're going to go to Add-ons, and we're going to say, from here we're going to hit Install. So now we're going to navigate to where we put uh, the Armory SDK. So in my case it's uh, in here, it's Armory SDK, and we're going to grab Armory.py here. Just click on it and hit Install Add-on from File. So, now you have the Armory add-on, just check this, it'll bring up this, and here we want to go to the SDK path. So, click this, then once again go to the program files and Blender Foundation Blender Armory SDK, and just in this root file of Armory SDK, the same place where the Armory.py is, don't click it, but just hit accept. And that'll put the SDK right there. So, now that that's done, just save your user preferences. Close this, close this. Uh, just go change this in mind. And restart Blender. Now that Blender's back up, Armory has been installed, and you can go ahead and use it. So if we see it down on the side here, you can check that Armory's been installed. 
thanks to the armory, all the new armory panels that have appeared. So I'm going to go down up, up to here, and you can see render engine, and you can work with in whatever render engine you want, but generally Cycles is the uh, de facto um, armory engine. So um, there's a few things down here you'll notice. Um, you can choose uh, how the uh, where to start your scene from, from the scene, from the camera, from the viewport. Um, doesn't matter. And then um, browser or Chrome is your export platform. There are more export platforms, but uh, that's something that can be gotten into in a, at a later date. In the meantime, I will show off some stuff. Um, if we check for world here, um, <clears throat> I'm just going to click this and I'm going to go to sky texture. And I'm just going to look at the render. Ooh, what is the. Yes, rendered. So this is the render. You can see all that nice new optimizations for near instant rendering of uh, your object. So we can adjust this to however we want. I'm going to say, okay, then. Uh, this down a bit. You can see the place around you. See, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that, actually, honestly. So, um, then I'm just going to go back up here, and we say, viewport, that yeah, scene, doesn't matter. And I'm going to play. Oh, got to save the file, right. Uh, just desktop, D1. On your file and play. Your computer could make a bit of noise like mine, but probably not. Uh, so then you have this, and you have proof that it's running, and that's all good. So you can close that and get to work on your development as you like. So um, that's all for now. That's how you install in Blender 2.8. That's the that's the new greatest greatest game engine available to you, so uh, with, that, with that in mind, uh, I'm Contra Hattie, um, see ya!